Hello there, this is the JNPXX here. The Cerberus Plus One has been buffed, my boys and girls. This weapon is by far the best weapon that I have ever used, and at the same time, the worst weapon that I have ever used. The Cerberus Plus One looks pretty damn ugly. This auto rifle has been in the Destiny 2 for quite some time now. Nobody really paid attention to this weapon until after the final shape released. Cerberus Plus One receiving a pretty nice juicy fat buff to its catalyst. Whenever you eliminate a target with this weapon and then hold down the reload button, it instant reloads the magazine and has a tighter spread that does increase damage. Whenever you have this procced, you have 7 seconds to eliminate targets. Whenever you eliminate targets while this buff is active, it refreshes the buff back to 7 seconds, but you have to manually reload the weapon. Early on, I made a big mistake while trying to record some gameplay for this video, where whenever I would eliminate a target in PvP, I would proc the perk, and then whenever I eliminated another target with the perk proc, I will hold down the reload button, essentially removing my buff over and over and over and over again. I found this out when re-watching my footage, so do not do the same mistake that I have done, my boys and girls. The weapon in PvP performs, well, it's a really extremely bad weapon. Until you proc Cerberus's Catalyst perk. When you have it procced, my goodness, you are going to be melting people left and right as long as you can stay alive. Everybody just gets melted. It's probably the fastest TTK weapon in the game that isn't a special weapon, obviously. Just look at this here. Absolutely insanity, my boys and girls. And this was before I even knew about how to actually efficiently use this weapon. But hold on, let me show you how fast this weapon melts over here. <laughs> and here. And here. Yes, Danny. But if you don't have the perk proc, my boys and girls, this thing is just terrible. The auto fire spread is insane and extremely erratic. Of course, it does have four freaking barrels that it shoots out of, and it is extremely inaccurate if you don't have the perk proc. In the PvP, you're probably gonna have a really bad day because the weapon has absolutely zero pepperoni range and just kills extremely slow unless you're literally shooting shooting the guy at melee range. But oh boy, if you do get your hands on the perk proc, like I said, you're gonna be melting motherfuzz like crazy. Bungie essentially made this weapon a extremely high risk weapon, high reward. You could easily just get outgunned by shotguns, by regular primaries, if you don't have the catalyst proc. And also there is the mistake of holding down that reload button after every kill, thinking that you're gonna reproc the perk. It's a fantastic, ugly, bad weapon. And it was actually pretty hard trying to get some gameplay for this gun, just because it is just horrible. And I mean, it is absolutely horrible. It's just, it's just so bad. <laughs> but at the same time, it's just so good. But it's more bad than good. You just gotta try it out 
and suffer for yourself in the crucible to find out but you know i'm actually glad bungie buffed this weapon before the buff this weapon basically worked the same way but it would actually shoot slower with its catalyst brick proc which was pretty bad now that it doesn't shoot slower and it retains its rate of fire and does increase damage like i said everything just gets melted down like crazy players in the pvp get eliminated so fast you don't even know what the heck is going on it feels like it's lagging sometimes because they just get eliminated that fast <laughs> I wonder if uh, you die by a Cerberus in PvP, how would that make you feel? Dying by one of the worst weapons in the game that can essentially be one of the best weapons in the game. But this weapon leans more towards the worst weapon in the game. But it's still a great fun weapon overall to use. Definitely give it a try and don't give up after just a couple of matches you know. You gotta find the sweet spot in the PvPs. Whenever you get that catalyst perk brought, try to think but don't think too hard and just go on a slay spree i guarantee you it will be a lot of fun but my boys and girls this was the jmp double x thank you guys for coming over and watching if you guys enjoyed the video make sure you guys hit that like button i would really appreciate it my dudes as it will grow my channel out and thank you guys yet again for coming over and until next time later my dudes